Greetings, good citizens of Valentine Bluffs. I, your beloved Mayor Thomas Otterman, is here to tell you to come on down to Harry's bloody attraction. You'll have fun, you'll have games, you'll get laid, you'll even meet the great coal miner himself. like this every time you drink TJ. Please stop it. Did you ever stop to think about how this would affect us? I can't keep apologizing for this. You don't have to apologize anymore. He tried to kill us, and yet when you heard that man scream that Axel was alive, you had to run back in to see him. Why? Because you're still in love with him. You bastard. When he's old enough to know the truth, you can tell him. Why are you crying, Mom? It'll be fine. Where's Daddy going? Don't worry, sweetie. Daddy will be home real soon. Okay. I have to find him and tell him. Who? My father. Sorry, but if he left you and your mom, what makes you think that he's going to care about her now that she's gone? Well, my mom always said he was a good guy when he wasn't drinking, and he has the right to know. I should be the one to tell him. She said before she passed that uh, they live in a town called Valentine Bluffs. Is that even a real name? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Sure, when do you want to go? Well, we uh, could leave tomorrow. It's not exactly how I saw my Valentine's Day going. But if it's important to you, then of course we can go. Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> So I read a book the other day about a family that was totally murdered by this guy with a hammer. But there's this little four-year-old girl and she survived and that is the reason that they caught the guy. Why is your head always buried in them type of books? What type? It's be the, the whodunit murder mystery type. They're interesting. Interesting? Babe, you're obsessed. I don't get it. Ah, there's just something that's really good about a good murder mystery. It's intoxicating. Really? I like you. Mm. <laughs> uh, wait, well, I'm on the air. Yes, Colin, you are on the air. This is Jill. This is the Jill Tainter. Yes. Oh my God. I, I, I listen to you every day. And, uh, yeah, I was wondering if, uh, maybe you'd like to go to the Valentine's dance with me? I'll be there. Yes. Hey, Ma, I'm going to the dance with Jill Tainter. And I am not going to be your Valentine. What the hell is wrong with you? Those are. Settle down, folks. Settle down. Now. 
I've uh, crunched the numbers, and clearly the museum is bust. It ain't making any money. I, 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 I don't understand what you all are whining and complaining about. Uh, I've made some great improvements. Did you bother to run this by anybody else? Yeah. Hey, Bozo, the last time I looked, I am the mayor. I don't need anybody's permission to do anything in Valentine Bluffs. Why would you deliberately invite this back here? Because they're going to bring tourists. We'll make money. You'll make money. Your businesses will be profitable, finally. Very profitable. With tourists comes unwanted media attention, dredging up old memories. What memories? It's been 40 years since all that bullshit. I ran T.J. Hanniger, the guy who created all this chaos and disruption and pain for you all. I ran him out of town. There has been no trouble. Quiet enough you could hear a pin drop. I don't know what your problem is. Chief, I can't believe that you're okay with this. John is totally on board, 100%, a, a, a thousand percent, a million percent, a billion, a billion, a trillion percent. Right, John? You really want to make money off the travesty that occurred here? Well, maybe. What about Paul? This museum is his baby. Does he know anything about it? He knows about it. And what we all know is that the museum is making no money. And that's why I stepped in to try to improve things. And we're already starting on uh, building the additions. Uh, and, and we're going to have a big sign, Harry's Bloody Attraction. Going to be great. Oh, hell no. no, no, no. no. Funny, I didn't hear anybody complain about the fact that, uh, that uh, we opened uh, this hall for uh, dancing. Mayor, we don't need gimmicks or bells and whistles. What we need are jobs. Ever since you closed the mine, these people are hurting. This town is hurting. What are you going to do about it? That's right. Yeah. You hurt this community. Bring yeah. back work. Yeah. Bring back our jobs. Yeah. And jobs. Bring back oh. our jobs, Mayor, not gimmicks. <laughs> You've done a wonderful job of decorating this place, huh? <laughs> Not. <laughs> Welcome back to QPID 940 FM, Valentine Bluffs, where the heartland meets the sea. I will be opening up the lines for phone calls and questions. Why can't you people just let this die? Let the dead remain dead. Why do you have to bring this all back up? Didn't this massacre affect this town enough? My father Hollis died in that massacre, and now I gotta relive everything, every moment of every day, because you people have to bring this all back up. And if anything goes wrong, if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. You people are to blame. Yeah, some. Hey, mister. Could you, uh, buy us some beer? Sure. <laughs> I don't see. The bitch. Told you this wasn't gonna work. <laughs> what the hell was that? This one well, I don't know. I asked for it. Hey, pal. What can I get you? I'll have a bourbon and a beer, please. I'll have a beer, please. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be all right. Hey, you're not going to change my mind. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 sucks. I don't know, man. I just, but you know what? Doesn't anybody drink around here on Valentine's Day? We haven't seen anybody in forever. It should be packed. Hey, uh, hey, bud. Uh, can you uh, buy us some beer? Some beer? Yeah. Yeah, I can help you get your drink on. Can you get us a uh, 240? Yeah, sure thing. 
Yeah. Boy, well, shit. But did he have a hat that said, I heart butt drugs? We a town. What's up, Merv? Whoa, speaking of the big sexy devil, we were just talking about you, brother. Erica, you're gonna drop this kid and uh, give me a shot. Why are you here? The trash goes out tomorrow. <laughs> trash went out yesterday. You guys sure do go all out for this uh, holiday, don't you? Yeah, Valentine's Day party. You coming? Nah, we're not from around here. Well, consider yourself invited. Oh, no thanks, man. I really just don't feel like celebrating. Paul, I need a beer, uh, one for my buddy Murph and his cranky old lady. And then, uh, yeah, never mind on John Luke. I don't know him that well. He doesn't need anything. Thanks, brother. Don't thank me. I think the nerd's outside handing out beer money. You didn't. Yeah. Again? Yeah. You rascal. You expect any of this? Oh, shit. Hey, Paul, turn the TV on, man. My commercial's about to come on. There you go, Critter. Greetings, good citizens of Valentine Bluffs. I your beloved Mayor Thomas Otterman is here to tell you to come on down to Harry's bloody attraction. You'll have fun, you'll have games, you'll get laid, you'll, you'll even meet the great coal miner himself, perhaps. Beware. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? That motherfucker caught all my lines. <laughs> Hey, fuck you, Jean-Luc. Wow. That's not even the right costume. Dude, that's all that cheap bastard gave me to wear, man. What's the weight limit on those coveralls? Hey, fuck you too, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I need to slow down a bit. Look, you got a pretty lady with you. It's Valentine's Day. What more could you ask for? Is everyone else in this town as nice as you are? Of course. <laughs> hey, so what about those stories? Do you have any good ones? Any any ones that are mysterious? Here we go again. Shut up. <laughs> you should tell them about the 81 incident. Hey. What incident are you talking about? It started as a legend. The legend of Harry. I said shut the fuck up. We don't talk about that anymore. What do you mean we don't talk about it anymore? You dress up like Axel Palmer every year, right? The coveralls, the mask. You dress up just like you did when he killed everybody. Otterman asked me to give this to you. What is it? Nothing. Sure doesn't feel like nothing. Is there anything you want to tell me? Look, we'll talk about this later, okay? So what about the story? He doesn't talk about it because him and the shitbag mayor charge for the mine tour down the road. Minor tour? What's that? Nothing. Don't listen to that drunk. Just don't bring it up to the sheriff. He doesn't really like talk about it. And this party stuff, he doesn't like it either. His name's Johnny. I heard he's got PTSD so bad, he can't even take a shower. Because his girlfriend, she was killed in the shower. That Palmer guy really screwed this town up. What happened? Okay. I'll tell you so these clowns don't mess up the story. The legend begins with Harry Warden. He was the sole survivor in a mine explosion when two supervisors left to go to this town's Valentine's Day party. Over the next five weeks, Harry survived by eating those miners that were trapped in the mine. After they found him, 
Harry was placed in a mental hospital. Well, he got out and he went to kill those two supervisors. And one of those supervisors was Axel's dad. And Axel saw his own father murdered while hiding under a bed. What's this guy gotta do to get a beer around here? Hey, I'm in the middle of a story, you idiot. The town went quiet for the next 20 years. The miners didn't listen to Harry Warden's warning not to have another Valentine's Day party. And then the killing started all over again. One by one, they were murdered in the most violent ways. At first, they thought it was Harry, but they figured out that Harry died like five years ago. And then they later found out it was Axel. Well, what happened to this Axel guy? In the mine, Axel got in a fight with a guy named T.J. Hanniger. Wait a minute, sir, did, did you say T.J.? Yeah. Well, that's the guy I'm looking for. Do you know this T.J.? Is he, is he still around? No, we haven't seen him in years. Does anybody here know where T.J. is? Now, T.J. and Axel got in a fight inside that mine. And I heard a story about Axel getting out by trying to cut off his arm, but he couldn't have survived. The mine collapsed. Didn't he come back after they had a party? I mean, why are you guys decorating? Isn't that kind of a stupid idea? Listen, do you think we'd have a party if we thought Axel was alive? There was no way Axel survived the collapse. And if he did, there was no other way out. They were all nut jobs. Even that Sarah, I heard she had a mental breakdown and went batshit crazy. <laughs> what? How's that? Is that fucking funny? And don't come back to the party. We don't want that kind of trouble now. Hey, you see some asshole in there with our money when you guys went in there? Sucks, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find out where the sheriff's office is, okay? Fine. Can I get you another beer? Sure. I gotta get a hot for tonight, right? And I guarantee I can land this one. Are you crazy? That's Paul's girl. And they're married? Ten bucks says you strike out. If you don't go to bat, can't hit a home run, bud. Here you go. And I heard what you were saying, bud. Well, Purdy, uh, oh. let's say we go back to your place, right? Some first some sex and pizza. How about that? If you don't like pizza, just say you don't like pizza. Can't blame you for trying, brother, but shake it off. So you know the little filly at the end of the bar has been giving you the eye all night. Just because there's a goalie don't mean you can't score. I like pizza. Let's go. Yup. I'm gonna teach her some new tricks. Thank you. Um, yes, the sheriff is? He is. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd just like to speak with him personally if I can. Chief, someone here to see you. Hey, come on back. So what can I do for you guys? Uh, sheriff, do you know a man named T.J. Hanniger? He lived here a long, long time ago. Why, what business do you have with him? So do you know him? People around here tend to mind their own business. Outsiders such as yourselves have been traipsing through here for years, trying to exploit our town and the people that live in it. If the man you're looking for doesn't want to be found, you should respect that. 
I need to find him. Listen, uh, he's my father, and I need to tell him about my mother Sarah's passing. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. And I knew your mom, too. Really sorry to hear about Sarah. She was, uh, she was a good friend. But it's really not something that I or anybody else in this town likes talking about. It was, it was a long time ago. It must have been really terrible with what happened with that Axel Palmer. Sheriff, do you think that you can help him find his father? I really appreciate it. Sheriff, you're okay. Sheriff, are you okay? Look, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, and I'm really sorry about your mom. Like I said, she was, uh, she was a good friend. As far as Axel's concerned, he died that night. He killed my girlfriend and a lot of my friends, too. I'm really sorry about that, Sheriff, but I really need to find him. This is Look, important. I told you, I can't help you. I don't know where TJ is. Are you serious? Look, you gotta go. I'm sorry, but I, I really can't help you. Wait, why? What was his problem? What just happened? I heard what was said. I knew that conversation wasn't going to end well. Look, go to this address, and you'll find who you're looking for. But I didn't have anything to do with it. Thank you so much. Thank you. What an asshole. Chief, everything OK in there? Can I help you? Uh, hi, I'm looking for a man by the name of uh, T.J. Hanniger. Why do you rest? Uh, well, long story short is he's my father and I haven't seen him in a long time. What? Um, that's impossible. Thomas Jesse Hanniger is my father. Besides, he used to live here, but he moved away a long time ago. Um. I suggest that you leave. Wait! Look, I just want to talk to him, okay? He owes me that. You were asked nicely. Now I'm warning you to go. Mister, coming around here, picking at old wounds won't do nobody any good. TJ doesn't owe you or that woman anything. Why won't you just listen to what he has to say? Enough. We've been expecting you. He isn't welcome here. Honey, we knew this time would come. Maybe it's time we tell him. It's good. Dad, are you sure? It's fine. Just go to the studio. Come in. Yeah, sure. Get you a drink? Uh, bourbon. Bourbon guy, huh? I haven't touched it myself in a while, but I'm pretty sure we have some here.
I don't even know where to begin. How about why you left? Look, I tried to make it work with your mom, I really did. But it was pretty hard to deal with. Did your mom ever sit you down and, and tell you what happened? She did, but it was always really hard for her. How could a father abandon his own son? Wait, 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 you have to understand. Did she ever tell you why I left? It's kind of hard to ask her now that she's passed. What? Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I didn't know. She, she was a good woman. Yeah, she was such a good woman. How come you left us with nothing? You know, I'm hearing all these apologies and no explanations. Peter, you have to understand. I'm not your father. Great, more lies. Would you just please sit down and let me explain? I was friends with your dad. It was Axel Palmer. <laughs> That's not true. My mom never said anything about that. Look, we tried to keep it from you, and for all the right reasons. But the real reason that I left is I couldn't handle the fact that you were his son, and not mine. <sighs> I felt like a second choice to your mom. Does that make any sense to you? No. This is crazy. You're telling me that my dad, my father, is the one that killed all those innocent people. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this bullshit. Son, you have to understand, he tried to kill your mom and me. Don't you ever call me son! Everything okay, TJ? Yeah, just, just dandy. I guess it didn't go as you'd hoped? No, not exactly. Well, where are we going? hot dogs. Ah! Oh, you asshole. Every fucking year you get me with that stupid costume. <laughs> Hello, David. Hey, sir, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. What are you plans for the night? Oh, just got a dinner reservation downtown, nice little restaurant. Sounds great. Yeah. I want her home by 11. Oh, cool. Yeah. 11? Really, Dad? And don't go near the dance. Dad, we're not going to the dance. How many years have you been telling me this? We're just going to dinner. It's going to be a nice night. You know, Dad, it would be really nice if you did something nice for Mom for Valentine's Day. I think she'd really like it. We don't do Valentine's Day. You know that. Whatever. I'm 25 years old. Okay, you guys are treating me like I'm a child. It's getting really old. I got a early Valentine's Day gift for you, buddy. I can't go along with this. We tell the people it's a non-profit organization. See how woke I am? And besides, I'm gonna, I mean, we're gonna benefit from this, all of us. I thought about wearing a dress, but I just think pants suit me better. You always look good in pants. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you think about those two girls over there? I don't know. I think the one with the glasses is into astrophotography. 
I don't know, maybe. Do you mind? Oh, well, I mean, well, okay. Oh, are you asking? No. Okay. Are you drinking chips. April? Fuck yeah, I'm drinking tonight. That's what I like to hear. Some cookies are good, candy. All right, I think this looks good. Here? This is like an entrance, don't you? Wouldn't be a party without balloons. What do you think? Right yeah, here? I think Red Oak Carol be good. Oh, also, did you hear Jason spike the punch? No, no it's awesome. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, but it's really weird since we all are 21, so I don't know what he's thinking. You know, another thing, you smell delightful. Thanks. What is that? Ooh. Change. <laughs> hey, welcome to Nightmare Toys. Do you have nightmares? Do you have toys? Do you want nightmares? Do you want toys? Let's go get them. I mean, look at all these toys that we got. More toys! We got, like, monster toys, and we got, like, horror toys, and, I mean, we even have, like, King Kong Gorilla toys. Toys aren't your thing? We even have dolls, or more toys. Oh my God, toys. We have monsters. Masks, ha, <laughs> it was me, it's a mask. <laughs> we have masks. We got costumes. We got all kinds of costumes. Oh boy, I'm sweaty from looking at all these toys. Good thing we have these towels here. Angel, I don't even know what that is. Our plushies, toys, I don't know, but we got them, and they're all horror specific. It's the scariest oh, toy you'll ever on. see. Oh, come on. my toy. You, you want just stuff? We got stuff. I mean, what are you waiting for? Do you even like horror? Do you even like toys? Nightmare Toys! Nightmare Toys is not responsible for any personal injury or lasting scarring PTSD while inside this world. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, I need to get a break this one time. Oops. Oh. Hey, Paul. Nice costume, man. Thanks, Critter. <laughs> Going uptown. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, hey, stop. It's been a long, long time. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have a beer? Yeah, I got you. Oh man, who invited Jordan for? Babe. All I need is beer, baby. Don't no, worry about no, it. I Don't worry, babe. You need to slow down a little bit. Let's go get some hot dogs. We'll go outside for some fresh air. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, babe. All right, babe. Come on, let's leave it. Hug it. You're right. You're always right. But let me take my beer first. No, no, we don't need it. Come on. No. What the fuck? Yo, I heard that dude did blow up a dude's ass. No way. Way. Each moment counts, let's make no mistakes. Don't you ask me dance. Sure, what the hell? I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to you big boy. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? Oh, whoa. I'm getting dizzy. 
You cold? Yeah, I'm freezing. Sorry, babe. Sorry I drank so much tonight. I'm just pissed, man. I'm ticked off about this whole minor museum thing. The mayor and all this stuff that's going on. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have drank so much. I'm sorry. Have you even seen that Psycho's museum yet? No, but if it's anything like I'm imagining it, someone needs to do something about it. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. So let's go do it. Now? Why not? Do you have something better to do? I like the way you think. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're crazy, but I like it. He just emptied the dump into this place. You getting scared yet? <sighs> yeah, scared I'm gonna get tetanus. Whoa, 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 look at this. What is it? Oh, wow. Full mining experience. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> wow, I'm really surprised that worked. You like that laugh, man? Eh? Oh, do I, baby. All right, let's check out this Harry's Bloody Attraction, eh? Hmm. All right. You good? Yeah. Man, this is as cheap as Mayor Ottoman's suit. Yeah, it's nothing like what I expected it to be. Were you expecting much? <laughs> Shouldn't have been. Well, look at it this way. At least we didn't pay for it, huh? Scared yet? Yeah, only of what everybody else is going to think of our town. Maybe if we're lucky, uh, Harry's here. Harry! Will you stop? <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> babe, that's not funny. Oh, what's not funny? This smells like Jack's ass. Oh, God. They made a life-size one for Otterman. What is all this stuff? Your sex dolls. 
Yeah, I'm sure. It's like a bunch of junk. <laughs> well, that's pretty lifelike, huh? Paul? Really? What's in there? Looks like they left something to pause, at least. Here, take that. Man, puppy's got some weight to it, huh? Yeah. Don't do you look? either. <laughs> No way Johnny knows about this. Absolutely not. He would have a fit. That is just so fucked up. Think that cheese eating rat sleeps here? <laughs> Looks like it. Didn't you go to school with him? Yeah, he died in the mine. No, oh, there, that explosion. Look, Evans, Tainer, Tacy. They all died working the mine. Yeah. That Otterman, man. I'm telling you, we should bring a bunch of people from the party and just trash this fucking place. I've got a better idea, babe. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we'll have our own party. You want to meet me upstairs in five minutes in the hot tub? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the breaker always goes out. Would you like to go downstairs and check the breaker for me? Sure.
Fertigst. See, you don't scare as easy. <sighs> you know what? I didn't like this costume at first, but uh, I think it's kind of sexy. As long as you're not trying to scare the shit out of me. could get into this.
know the situation you think yeah. you would do that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Are you excited? About where we're I have no idea where we're going right now. Yeah, About sure. my surprise. Oh, oh, oh. oh thanks, babe. There's more. There's more? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Good here. Put this on. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Right. Oh, I've done this ever. I think I did it right, right? Looks perfect, babe. Yeah, thanks. Oh, there goes one thing. Oh, that hit me, Nate. Wait. Oh, come on. It's just like kid in a candy shop. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Take your blindfold off. <sighs> Whoa. Do you like? Like is not the... <laughs> it's not the word. Oh, my God. I... We have to take pictures first. Oh. We really? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> All right. It's not... God, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, and then you set this up. Jeez. <laughs> and you got the big camera. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. God. Man, oh. Oh my god. Woo! Christmas card. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, turn the lights on. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> What's whoa? The flashing lights. Oh, there's cameras around there, so you can get as many pictures as you want. Oh god. It's so bad. <laughs> oh. Maitre is gonna kill me at the restaurant. I'm glad you brought nineties. This isn't helping. I like that. What? What the fuck? Weird. Well, why are you? Whoa! What's the stroke going off? I, you know what? It's probably a cat or something. The <sighs> back window it never closes. Can you just turn that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go. Never to sleep. She's out having a nice time with there's, David. There's something wrong. I can feel it in my gut. Can you please calm down? I mean, what are you afraid of? Are you freaking kidding me? Do not use that tone with me. Okay. All right. Sorry. But she should have called. I'm going to go look for her. <sighs> Whatever. Excuse me, man. I'm, uh, I'll let you back in here. I'm just looking for my hey, girlfriend. Girl, hey, you gotta get the fuck out of here. Damn, dude, Come take on, it go. easy. Hey, I'm gonna get this piece of shit out of here, and then I'm gone, all right?
Greg, come in. <laughs> yeah, I need to get you over to Hanniger's photo studio right away. <laughs> Where's TJ? He's out looking for Kelly. I tried calling, but I can't get through to him. All right, keep trying to contact him. Okay. Does that thing work? Yes. Show me the footage. Okay, okay. Who's that? Can't be. TJ, get over to the studio. David is dead. And... TJ, it's John. I think he's back. He's got Kelly and he's at the mine. He left you a message. He wants you to meet him there. I think it's Axel. Chief, you okay? Look, I, uh, I can't let you go alone. Meet me at the motel on Route 8. We'll go together. Chief. You don't really think it's him after all this time, do you? Watch her. Chief, Chief, are you sure you don't need backup? Why don't you make sure she gets home safely and then meet me at the mine? Copy that. Picture of Sylvia. Let's just go get your daughter. John. John, you okay? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Here, take this. John, you can't shoot a gun in the mine. Okay. All right, take this. Okay, okay, let's go. Chief, come in. Chief, come in. Over. Chief. Oh, 
shit. Slow down. You gotta be careful. Got Kelly. God damn it. John, I think we have to split up. I don't think that's such a good I'm, idea. I'm, I'm going that way. TJ!
Chief. TJ. Answer me. Ellie. Kelly, what the fuck did this guy do to you? Daddy, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. I'm We're sorry. Gonna, I'm sorry. Gonna We're going to get you out of here. We're going to get you out of here. I can't believe it's you. 
Oh, let's get Kelly. She's hurt bad. TJ, the only way I'm gonna be able to get this out is by ripping her hand. For as much as it pleased him to take out of this world the soul of Kelly Hanniger, daughter of TJ and Denise Hanniger, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, looking for that blessed hope when he shall himself descend from the heavens with a shout, the voice of an archangel, and with the trump. The dead shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet him in the air. And so shall we ever be with him. Wherefore, comfort ye one another with these words. You are watching Newswatch 14, and this is Angela Lane, and we are standing in front of Ballantine Bluffs Courthouse. Thomas Otterman is on trial for bribery and embezzlement. We are awaiting the verdict now. Wait, the verdict, the verdict is in. 
Oh my God, Mayor Thomas Otterman has been acquitted of all charges. Mayor, Mayor, can I get a statement? Huzzah, huzzah, get out of my face. Would like to hear a statement. No comment, you hairy Your cunt. town would get like to hear a statement. Get out of my fucking face, from you. you hairy cunt. I'm Mayor. Chuck, I start driving. What is it? Mayor, what, what can I have? What? Can we have a statement? You want a statement, huh? I'll give you a statement. You can piss on Valentine's Bluff. You can shit on it. You can also take your, your bloody gas and put that on TV. Uh, Chuck, drive, drive, drive. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Well, there you have it. Mayor Thomas Otterman is a free man. This is Angela Lane coming to you exclusively from Valentine Bluff Courthouse. I'm not doing this anymore. Tom, I said, I'm... Holy shit.
back to QPID 940, where the heartland meets the sea. That was Pocono Posse. And next is a request from Jordan Bohr. This is In the Trench with Haunted. Action. I'm not doing this anymore. Tom, I said, I'm not doing this anymore. Holy shit. Don't worry, folks. Tom Smith's going to put me into this sequel. God. <laughs>